POV, you are Chris Rock at the Oscars. I'd like to apologize to the Academy. Guys, did you see it? Did you see the that thing that happened yesterday on Saturday? Sunday? Sunday? Today's Monday. Did you see that thing? Did you fucking see it? It was the greatest moment in television history. Chris Rock makes a joke at the Oscars as a comedian does. Joke is directed at woman who has alopecia, a slightly receding hairline, and has her head shaved bald. Boom. Woman's husband, Will Smith, laughs initially at the joke. All right. <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. Then looks over to his wife. She's angry. He's not sure if he should be laughing. Then he looks over to his wife's boyfriend. He's livid. Uh oh So he gets up, walks up on stage like a f cartoon character, and then... literally smacks the dust off of Chris Rock's face. It was so surreal. I didn't watch it live. I'm not even going to pretend like I did because I didn't. I don't care at all about Hollywood or actors or the people in Hollywood or any traditional media. I think it's all terrible. So what caused the Gemini man to slap the shit out of the zebra from Madagascar? Well, I really don't know, but it was funny and entertaining t TV, I think we could all agree on. And it seems like there's three takes to this entire situation as well. The first one, Will Smith overreacted and should not have slapped Chris Rock for making a joke. Not even that bad of a joke, by the way. I'll tell you the joke here in a minute. The second take would be that Will was standing up for his wife, which, you know, that's a reasonable take, I guess. It is also literally assault and a violent attack in which he did not apologize directly for and took no responsibility for. Very strange. And then just blamed his feelings while he was crying like a small child. Love will make you do crazy things. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my all my fellow nominees um and three it was staged to get more views which makes sense too which makes sense but at the same time i don't really think it was staged either and four it was awesome that's what <laughs> side i'm on dude i think it was awesome i think i love watching the world burn down especially hollywood I, I hate hollywood there are so many opinions though twitter has been absolutely blown up it's staged it's staged how can you condone this sort of evil behavior he slapped a man and didn't even go to jail. The Los Angeles Police Department will be there to arrest him. There's no way Chris Rock is going to press charges because he'd be blackballed from Hollywood. Will Smith is like one of the most influential <laughs> yeah, guys in the whole thing. I just tried to do this sound. Ha! Ha! How's he sound? <laughs> Will Smith is one of the most <laughs> influential guys in Hollywood. Just seems like a like a weird, you know. Seems like a weird, uh, the whole situation is, is weird. But yeah, so Chris Rock is just making jokes. Not even good ones, not funny, barely a chortle out of the audience. The front row, Jada Pinkett Smith, her boyfriend, her husband, Will. Boom. Triangle. It's the strongest of all shapes. He says, Jada, Jada I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? And then Will laughs. <laughs> Wife's boyfriend doesn't like it, gives him the word, walks up on stage like a fucking, like he's on a, a like a runway model, and walking up there, and then just there's so much just stuff that comes off his face too. It's crazy, sweat, dirt, sand, crumbs, shit. I don't fucking know. Makeup probably. It was quite a one-sided slap match. All right, critical probably will make a video and post it before I do mine, but. So Chris made a joke about her being bald or balding. I don't really know. I think she has a shaved head. She has alopecia. I know that. So it could make sense as to why she's insensitive. But she's been quoted in saying in the past that all she can do is laugh about it. Many people have alopecia. Many, many people have far worse things like leukemia in which you, you don't lose your hair by some autoimmune disorder. You lose your hair as a result of like treatment, which is that that's not funny to joke about, you know, but a little alopecia. Come on, bro. Everybody goes bald eventually. And dies. Who cares, Will Smith? Although, I do think the slap is pretty cool. But after he slapped Chris, Chris has no idea. Like, he's like, well. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. He just is so awkward. It's such a strange thing. It doesn't happen every day, you know? Gemini man doesn't always come up and slap you, especially not when you're the zebra from Madagascar. It's rare. It's a rare occurrence. Then he goes back down, sits back down right next to his wife's boyfriend in his wife's boyfriend's lap. All right, he's conveniently cropped out of the image, as you can tell. And then he's yelling, Keep my wife's name out of your mouth! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to. He's very angry. Very angry. Baby boy is angry. I cannot wait to see what Jada says about this on the Red Room thing that she does on Facebook, where she talks shit about Will, like, every single week. It's such a weird, petty, petty drama thing like their whole relationship just doesn't make any sense they were separated at one point she had a new boyfriend it's weird man i feel bad for him just kidding i don't at all but yeah there's so many people try that trying to say that like oh comedy's over if you get slapped for making a joke bro the world would probably be a better place if you could physically retaliate for people saying dumb shit to be honest you know but there still has to be consequences to that i don't think comedians should be slapped for jokes that wasn't even that bad of a joke. If he's like, your wife is ugly and bald, <laughs> plus L plus ratio, plus you have no maidens, plus ask your wife's boyfriend first, then that's one thing. But it wasn't even that bad of a joke. So I really don't know. I genuinely don't care. I think it was incredibly entertaining. That's my take. I wish it would happen more. I wish these folks in Hollywood and Los Angeles and California would beat each other up more and it would be televised. Very similar to YouTuber boxing, but, um, you know, on live TV. I think that would be good. That's my take. That's where I stand. Let me know what you guys think. There's some really interesting takes though. Some really interesting TikToks like this one. Hey, this one. And this one. I was a child of three and you were lot of 18. And this one, no, just kidding, that's me from the beginning of the video. 